Hello everyone and welcome back to Sarian. And we are here with Hura, who actually is getting a little thirsty, but we'll go get a drink real fast before we move on. And uh, we've been spending our days looking for uh, either the Ankylosaurus or the Denversaurus, because right now we managed to take down an Anatosaurus, but, okay, I want to see if we can sneak up on, or, or at least catch this bird. Did we get it? No, we missed it, darn it! I was hoping we'd get it, but there's a fish here that we can use uh, just in time to replenish our food, I hope. But yeah, we need to uh, keep on, keep moving because we're hoping to find and try to take down either the Denversaurus or the Ankylosaurus because we did manage to get the Anatosaurus and, um, goodness, this guy's going to be hard to grab, isn't he? There we go, we got him. Uh, but yeah, we were trying to take down all the new animals just to see if it's possible. Again, I don't expect that uh, it's going to be recommended in most cases just because probably the Dakota Raptor wouldn't be trying to take down prey that's that much bigger than it like that. But we're going to at least see if it's possible just to find out if we can, whether or not it's a thing that we should do. And uh, honestly, I was surprised by how easy the Anatosaurus was to take down. Now, granted, it wasn't easy, but if you get a little bit lucky, it's also not hard. Uh, you can pretty much just keep attacking and attacking and attacking, and eventually it'll go down. And I'm also happy to, uh, to say that uh, it looks like our hunger bar has finally gone all the way back up. We, we finally managed to get, it, uh, to get it pretty much fully restored there, so that's good to see. Um, and the other thing is, too, with the Anatosaurus, you just have to watch out for that tail whip, because that's what's, that's what's gonna be lethal. That's what's gonna take you out. Ah, perfect. Snack just in the nick of time. So, there we go. We can eat. There is a T-Rex over there, though, so we gotta be kinda cautious. I think he just disappeared into the trees, so we should be okay, but nevertheless, uh, a little bit spooky. But we're going to keep running around. I'm going to actually explore these open plains because I think this is where we're going to find uh, either of those guys. I'm pretty sure I've seen them more in these open areas. And as long as we're kind of close, is it already... It's already night, isn't it? Uh, I don't really like nighttime, but we don't really also have the option to skip the night anymore either. Because uh, if we try to skip the night, we're going to lose a lot of hunger, and that's very hard to get back. And in fact, we need to eat again already. So a lot, a big part of what we're going to have to do here is just going to be to keep our, our hunger bar up as well, because it is glitched out at the moment, as I've mentioned in previous episodes. I'm hoping they release a patch for it pretty soon, but uh, for as of right now, they have not just yet, and so... Uh, it's one of those things where we kind of just need to uh, to deal with it as best we can. Do we kill it? There we go. I f Did we get it? We got it. I heard it die, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so we'll keep sniffing around. We'll keep moving as well. It's going to be a little difficult to see at night. But, um, yeah, it's going to be... We, we just need to keep moving as best we can. And then hopefully we find... What's going on up here? Oh, it's more, it's more turkeys. Okay. Uh, we don't really need to kill a turkey right now. We already have enough food. But again, I'm just going to keep looking around and seeing if we can find any of them. It's going to be tough to spot them at night because they're going to kind of blend in. But we'll do the best we can and uh, roll with it. Is it still flooded? It has been a little bit flooded. And uh, I think this is part of the flood area that's not normally underwater. So that's kind of interesting to see. That's a croc. That's not a fish. Yeah, that's a croc. We're gonna leave that one alone. But uh, it does look like there's some sort of prey trail over here. There was. And there's prey here as well, so we're gonna catch this guy and see. There's actually several of them running around. That's, that's handy to see because we definitely need to make sure that we're constantly eating. No, come on. Come on. Let me catch you. Let me catch you. Let me catch you. I, I gotta eat. No, they're hard, to, they're hard to catch sometimes. There we go. Did we get him? I think we got him. Yeah, we can We can kind of hang on to the body there. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna eat, and I'm gonna save immediately because we have, um, we have something here, I believe. It's hard to tell at night. I think this is an Ankylosaurus. I'm not sure what it is, but whatever it is... We want to kill it. I want to kill it. <laughs> I want to fight it. It's going to probably tail whip us and take us down, though, if we're not careful. So we got to be real cautious. All right. 
Oh, he, he bit us. Yeah, he actually bit us there. So that's going to hurt if we're not careful. Okay, we gotta, we got to avoid the tail whip. The tail whip is going to be what's really dangerous. And these guys... Or I think, excuse me, I think this is actually the Denver source because I don't see it like the the classic mace on the tail that you think of when you have an Ankylosaurus. So I think this is the Denver source. You guys said the Denver source is the one that's more purple. And uh, I can't tell what color this guy is in the dark here. So I'm just going to snag this lizard real fast if we can because we need more food and then we'll go back to the hunt. But because we saved right there, we should be clear to... Um, we should be able to actually, uh, did we get it? No, we didn't get it. Okay. Oh, come on. We gotta get, we gotta have got it in it, right? Yeah, we got it. Okay. Um, but because we saved right there, this guy, we should be able to keep respawning here until we're able to take it down and figure out exactly what that's going to entail. So I want to see, can we wrap to pray restraint? We can. Okay. This is probably our best bet. Oftentimes it is, and it seems to help quite a lot for the most part. So hopefully this will help us. Okay. Uh, he doesn't seem to be too aggressive, so that's good at least. There's also turkeys right here, which is great. That's perfect because we're going to need to eat. So maybe what I will do is actually kill one of these guys and see if we can bring one down. Oops, did I miss? Okay, I missed, I think. It's lagging a little bit. I think the water level might be starting to change, and that could be lagging it just a tiny bit here. But um, I think, okay, we got this guy. I want where I don't want to get too far away. Okay, where were we? I'm lost, you guys. Uh oh. Okay, hold on. I think yeah, right over there. There he is. Okay. I'm I'm wasting time. I'm not gonna mess around with that right now. I'm just gonna go for this guy. We were able to raptor prey restrain him, so you can kind of just get close and attack, and then we'll see if we can like find something smaller to eat around here. I actually see something right over here, so I'm gonna go grab it. I think it's another rat. So these guys are at least easier to catch than the lizard because there's a tiny bit more of a bite area. All right, we got it. So we just come back the way we came. It is very tough to see at night. There's also Triceratops here. But this is where... Um, okay, we've also got a rat right there. This is where uh, the Denverosaurus went. I think this is the Denverosaurus. I could be wrong. It's hard to tell in the dark. Again, I'm pretty sure Denverosaurus is more purple from what you guys told me. And then I think the Ankylosaurus has a club on the end of its tail, and I didn't see that here. So I'm pretty sure we're looking at a Denverosaurus and not at an Ankylosaurus. Oh no! Oh my goodness! Wow! Okay, so yeah, you really don't want to get smacked by that tail. We're going to reload and try again, but dang. <laughs> that was, that was wow. Okay. Okay, well, we're back, and it's the middle of the night again, and there's the Denversaurus, so we're just going to keep attacking this guy until we have some sort of results, and uh, I, I pr I'm pretty sure anything in this game can be killed, it just might be very difficult to actually pull it off. So yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna see about that. So I wanna I wanna try and take this guy out. We gotta be careful though because it looks like a similar thing that happens with the um the crocs could happen here, where if you're not careful, your head can get caught in the tail and you can just get immediately tail whipped. So again, that's one risk that happens with this. And so yeah, it's not it's not ideal. It's far from ideal. But again, our purpose is just to see if we can do it. That doesn't necessarily mean we should do this regularly or that it's even efficient. We're, we're testing to see what's possible, not, uh, not what's, not what, what's helpful. <laughs> we're, we're testing to see what we can do, not necessarily what's going to be the best course of action here. Do we get it? Yeah, we got it. Okay. We just need to keep our food up so that we don't start to starve. Um, there we go. We got it right. Then there is the Denversaurus again. Again, I'm pretty sure it's a Denversaurus. I'm not actually positive. Um, but it's hard to tell at night, and thanks to the fact that uh, we, we died, we got reset to the beginning of the night. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we'll see more when it comes to the daytime. But, oh no, I shouldn't have done that. I had, like, no stamina. But yeah, I think the stamina is kind of spazzed out, too, because you can see it actually started going up while I was doing Raptor Prey Restraint. So there are definitely some things that are kind of bugged at the moment. 
Um, and again, that's to be expected. The game is in early access. It's still in development. Uh, they're still figuring out a lot of the, the bugs and glitches with this. And so don't judge it too harshly. This is not the final game. They're not just leaving it at this. Uh, they're still working on it actively. So there we go. And again, yeah, it does definitely look like, um, like the stamina is kind of bugged out for Raptor Prey Restraint. A and in general, I think it might be a little bit glitchy. So we need to try and angle in from the side, I think. That's probably going to be our best course of action here. So we'll continue to attack. We should be able to take this guy down, I think. He's moving fast, all right, and I think he might actually be trying to run away from us. Is he trying to get away? He's very slow. He's either indifferent or trying to get away, and I'm not sure which it is. So we're going to continue to attack as if he was trying to get away. Because if he is, then that means he's low in health. If he's not, then that means we need to keep biting him until he is. So either way, it doesn't really change our response very much. These guys, they're, they're tanks, basically. Look at all that, that uh, those armored scales. Uh, they're not... There's something that's going to be tough to take down, especially for a Dakota Raptor. Again, Dakota Raptors, they're they're not necessarily like they're they're not meant to be taking down the larger prey. I think a lot of the stuff like this is more meant for when you're going to be playing as a T-Rex or whatever. So while you can do it, most of the time it's not going to be very efficient. I also haven't ever seen this guy lash out and attack me back. And there is some food over here, so we're going to go grab it before our hunger drains too low. It's one of these lizardy guys. Did we get him? Did we get him? I don't see him anymore. Oh, there he is. Yeah, we, we got him. All right. Okay. So let's eat, and then we'll go back. And it looks like there is a rat now, too. So I think he's, he's he was making noise like he was taking damage there. So I think we are hurting him. Oh, I do not want to come within range of that tail. I think we are hurting him. We're just... It's very, very slow because, again, we're a Dakota Raptor. We're not necessarily meant to be taking down prey of this size. Um, it's just kind of interesting to see how tough it is. And, again, right now we're not really playing through the game for the realistic aspect of it as much as we're just kind of trying to test the limits. Once the game is a little bit more developed, then we will be playing through it in a storyline way. But for now, we're kind of just trying to see, oh, we're going to get, we're going to get in a bad spot because of that tree. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get off. Get off. Get off. Okay. Oh, we lived. I'm not sure how, but we lived. Okay. We need to go get water and we also need to go get food. Um, and now we need to heal because we took some damage there for sure. But again, we're, we will be playing through the realistic aspect of it at some point. But for now, we're kind of just trying to test out the game to see what you can do. Oh, we caught it right away that time. That's that's a first. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be playing through it to see what we can do and not so much what we should do uh, until the game is just a little bit more developed. Okay. Oh nope, not what I wanted. Okay, let's go around this way and jump. And that was almost really bad. That was kind of a risky jump. I probably shouldn't have taken it in the first place. He's right by the tree, which is making things a little bit difficult here. But um. We are still able to damage him. He does seem like we... It does seem like we are hurting him. Oh, I don't like the way he's turning, though. Um, but it does sound like we're hurting him, so hopefully we are starting to get close to taking him down. Again, I predict this is going to take a long time just because he has such good armor. Uh, we're actually square on his back here. And I'm not sure we were even damaging him. I couldn't hear it. So let's come over here. We are now. We definitely did some damage that time. Although I don't think we're even damaging him with every bite. It seems like some of them are missing. That. We definitely got a couple in. Yeah, I think some of them are missing though. So again, that's something that might need fine tuning. But it does add a bit of a challenge. Alright, we can do some damage there and then get thrown off. I don't actually mind getting thrown off because it does throw us quite far away. Um, but, yeah, because, like, I don't hear him. We kind of just were riding around on his back there for a minute. Okay, we need more food. Is there something nearby that we can eat? Gotta be something, right? 
Anything? Great. There's not. All right. We're going to go after this guy and apparently miss completely, but we'll see if we can take this guy down because if we can, then we'll be able to eat again. Oh no, I missed. Okay, we need to replenish our, our stamina a bit. Let it go back up and then we'll attack. It's not... Oh, nope, that didn't work either. I keep wasting it because I when I jump it goes down way far. But you can see our, our hunger bar is dropping pretty fast as well. I'm going to keep sniffing around to see if there's other food, but I don't... I see something in the distance and I don't necessarily want to go all the way out to get it because I'm worried he's going to despawn, so... We're just going to do the best we can. I'm tempted to get lazy here and just start attacking without raptor prey restraining, but I think that's a bad idea. Um, I think we really need to rely on that because that seems to serve us fairly well <laughs> for the most part. Oops, not like that though. Oh, and not let's not stand in the middle of them. It's just the slope that's making things particularly difficult and that's causing us to waste our stamina and our valuable time here. So let's do the... Uh, Okay, we got it. Oh, we got him. Okay, we jumped just a little bit to get on him here. Oh, he's gonna... He's gonna do a bad thing, I think. Okay, yeah, we definitely took some damage. Get... Oh, no! I was gonna say, get out of there! But we, we landed in a really bad spot. Okay. Well, we'll reload. We don't have that much time, but we're gonna try again just real briefly and see what we can do. Alright, here we are. We're gonna try this again. I'm gonna find him. He's right here. We're just gonna go back and, and go at him again. I wonder if it is more effective. You know what? We're gonna try just attacking like this and see if that is more effective. It's gonna depend... Okay, we're gonna need to... We're gonna need to dodge in and out so that we stay well positioned. But we can consistently damage him like this. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. Okay. Ow. Yeah, he definitely bit me there. But, um... If we can consistently damage him, that might be easier because I don't think we are consistently damaging him when we do the Raptor Prey Restraint. So if we can if we can get him at a good angle, we can also maybe damage him by the neck and the head because those areas are supposed to do more damage. We just need to avoid before. But he's so slow that if you get the right angle, you can do a fair bit before you have to run off. Okay, attack, attack, attack. Ouch, he bit me there too. Okay, is there anything to eat? There is something right here. We are going to go over here. We're going to eat this guy. Nope, he disappeared. He scurried off. Did we get him? Nope, we didn't. I almost thought we did there. <laughs> you can probably hear me just frantically clicking, but uh, hey, it works. All right, did we get to eat? We got to eat. All right, so where'd he go? He's over here. So we're going to try it without Raptor Prey Restraint this time and just see if we can consistently get more damage by hitting him in the neck. Oh, no, we're gonna get trampled if we do that. Okay, so that's not gonna work out too well. Uh, we'll try one more time and just see what happens. We don't have a lot of time, but if we are very aggressive, we might be able to finish this off. We just gotta really make sure that uh, we do a lot of damage right away. I'm not sure if we're hitting him or not. I'm trying to listen. I don't think we are. Oh, I did hear him. I did hear him get hit there. All right, so we might have hit him a few times, but I don't think we hit him all that much. Oh, that was right by the tail. He tried to get us too. Did you see him tail whip there? It's a good thing we didn't land on that. All right, we'll try one more time. I'm being a little bit reckless, but we'll try it again the next episode if we fail here. I just want to see if we can get it done in uh, the few minutes we have left. All right, we're doing some damage. He hasn't hurt us too much either, which is good. Um, we just gotta be kind of careful. I did hear him get damaged a little bit, but I don't think we did that much to him. So let's just see. I'm not even gonna hunt this time because I don't think we're gonna make it very far. But, oh, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> Alright, we gotta let our stamina regenerate. But... Uh, we're just going to try a very quick and aggressive approach and see if we can take him down. I kind of am anticipating we're not going to be able to do it because I think to be quick like this we have to be kind of reckless and usually that doesn't help. Okay, if we jump right here, can we still do it? Yeah, we can. So that might be the trick is to just get up real close and personal and then do a tiny little hop and land on his back. <laughs> um, 
We should be doing a lot of damage here because we've been holding on for a long time. You can see the water level changing in the background. It changed just a little bit just there. Um, he's definitely getting perturbed, which is completely understandable. Okay, avoid because his tail whip happened. Uh, let's jump again. Oh, that didn't work. So it seems to have worked quite a bit a lot of the time, though. Oh, I'm worried we're going to be in a bad spot. If he starts swinging that tail around, I'm a little bit worried because this is not really where I wanted to be. I want to be doing more damage closer to the head, too. So let's try and get in closer once again. We'll do a little jump. And if we keep doing this, this seems to be the trick to get real close to him because then you don't have to aim quite as well to, uh, to get close to him here. Just run up and do a tiny little jump. You can just get real, real close. Um... He's not all that fast, and so you can generally avoid him pretty easily. It's just if you do get in the way of his attacks, you're going to go down pretty much. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this is a Denversaurus, too. The head shape looks like what I remember them looking like in the daytime. So I'm pretty sure that this is a Denversaurus and not an Ankylosaurus. Okay, get off, because that was not worth it. Uh, we don't do that much damage when we stand on his back like that. You can barely hear him roaring at all. So, oh, and we jumped right over him. Great, that's fine. Okay, go here. There we go. It's the sides where you seem to actually be able to damage him more. And I don't even think we're doing it now. Yeah, I don't hear anything. He's trying to get us off at least, but if you can get real close here, then we can do some damage sometimes. Again, I think the, there's some of these systems need more fine-tuning, uh, but again, that's the, peri that's the purpose of the early access period, is to get that done so that um, the game, will, when it's actually finished, will be a lot better than this. Uh, right now, they're still fine-tuning all of that. We are just, we're playing an early version of the game that's not quite polished yet. So, here we go. Alright, we should be able to attack. Oh, that hurt. Thankfully, it didn't hurt too much, but it definitely hurt. I'm going to get a drink of water. Our food is going down as well, which is not what I was hoping for, but it's not too terrible. Let's get back, though, and we'll try and keep fighting this guy. We might... We have a chance still. We're not, we're not out of the fight for sure, but I have a feeling it's just going to end up taking too long to be able to finish this episode, and I have a feeling we're gonna we're gonna die because we're going so quickly here that uh, we're probably gonna end up making some mistakes. <laughs> All right, we're doing some damage. He is roaring some of the time, and I don't know if he roars every time he's hurt or not. Also, I'm sorry that it's so dark. I'm try. I usually try not to uh, do too much at night, but because of the hunger glitch, we really can't pass the time anymore. So, well, he's. He, oh, that was close. Okay, those tail whips will kill you pretty much every time, too. So, he, we're definitely hitting him there. We I did see a packy right here, too, right in my face. So, oh, he bit us in the tail. There is a packy around here somewhere that I kind of don't want getting mad at me. Okay, look out. There we go. We got him. Um, I'm not sure we're damaging him or not. Oh, and that didn't work so well. <laughs> That's great. Well, that was kind of what I predicted is going to happen, but I still am determined to try and take one of these guys down if we possibly can. And I have a feeling that whatever tactic works well for the Denversaurus may well work well for the Ankylosaurus as well. So we're going to go ahead and end off this episode here for today, though, because it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.